good work, Charlie. Well, okay, is Libro incredible, Mr. Triple Thread, Sidestep, Swizzag. You already know. What up, Game Face Studios, man? This is my brand new, brand new, my player, Carlos the Cobra Santiago. I don't know if y'all guys follow me that much on my channel, but um, this is my first video with Carlos on Game Face Studios, so I just wanted to introduce him to y'all. I'm going against the Timberwolves and the new look was with the uh with Kevin Martin. Um, I actually I know y'all probably wondering like how the hell Kevin Martin get on the Timberwolves and how Drew Holiday get on the Hornets. Um, let me just give y'all a little background on that so y'all won't be going into uh. Y'all don't be thinking like, you know what I mean? What the hell? So I, I downloaded the updated 2K rosters, the latest ones. They're not going to get you the trades and all of that. Um, I was actually looking for the rookie roster too, but I couldn't find that on PS3 at all. That was anything accurate, the players that look right. Um, I couldn't find none of that. So I just was like, all right, I'm going to do the free agent signings and trades or whatever that happens, the player cuts and stuff like that. So... I made my, I, did, I downloaded my roster like around July something and I, I edited it, I mean, yeah, I fixed it up like around July 7th for something like that. So everything wasn't official to July 12th, but everybody, like a lot of a lot of players committed in uh, verbal agreements or whatever like that around the NBA. So I was like, all right, so they going for sure go there. So like play, um, people like Andrew Bynum, he didn't sign yet. Um, I left Brandon Jennings where he was at. I left Andrew Bynum on the Sixers. Um, stuff like that, you know what I mean? Nate Robinson, I think he is still on the Chicago Bulls. I have Iggy on the Warriors. You know, you know the moves or whatever. Um, the White is on the Rockets. And there you see Kevin Martin, like, and the bullshit continues, man. Like, Kevin Martin hits everything. This, 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 the story of this game is this dude right here, Kevin Martin, un fucking real on hall of fame man like it's crazy i don't know if i come on man you guys that are subscribers and other commentators man y'all play if y'all play this shit on hall of fame for real for real then y'all know what the fuck i'm talking about about kevin martin man a, a lot of there's a lot of other people you know kind of like fake or whatever on the game too but yo kevin martin is just like yo like dude is nice but dude's not that fucking nice you know what i'm saying so whatever but yeah so I, back to what i was saying about the trades or whatever so i did tyreek evans on the pelicans and stuff like that so i actually what i was trying to do because i didn't really want to stop using my small four after i retired them because i was like some way somehow i was able to like it did it save but it didn't save to the point where though i couldn't use my uh player after i went into the hall of fame so right before i went into the hall of fame my games and stuff like they didn't count or whatever i don't fucking remember but it didn't count so i was able to use them and i was like fuck i had uh wanted to use my mob my mob player and I, I had got tired of like trying to get vc and i already had vc on my main account so that shit was just like time consuming like i got two mob players on two different accounts and i could just have them on one so i ended up putting my shooting guard on my main account but on my second account i had you know just made them and i i got the first overall pick with the Hornets or whatever, and I played like two, yeah, two games or whatever, and I was like, I was like, damn, yo, I could just put him on my main account or whatever. So I just put him on my main account, and I ain't gonna even lie to you, yo. Since I already had videos like made and rendered out for YouTube, like, and I had like the storyline and all of that like laid out, I was like, fuck, man, I, I messed up with some shit. Like I can like had a roster a little updated and shit like that, and then I didn't like the fact that they kept putting me at small four like i'm trying to be a shooting guard i don't want to be a small four so it was a conflict with tyreek evans like he didn't want to play the three and i and they was making me play the three because i guess i was taller than him so i'm like hold on man it's some bullshit like i ain't trying to even i ain't even trying to deal with that so i was like all right what can i do to make it where as though i'm gonna be the starter and have it not look like yo you know damn that's a bogus ass trade or whatever like you know like i didn't tr it wasn't like i traded um, what's his name? Tyreek Evans for, let's say, Durant. You know what I mean? It wasn't nothing out of the ordinary. It was Tyreek Evans is about a 80 to like 83 overall, and I traded him for Michael Beasley, which was a 76 overall. I mean, when you look at it, like I lost out. You know what I mean? And I think I gave another player too, and I also shipped Aminu off because I know he was trash. I traded him and um somebody else for some weak player 
some weak players on the Utah Jazz. Like, Amino was like a 70-something, and I traded uh, Grievous Vasquez. He was like a 76 or something like that. And I traded them for um, a backup center and a backup small four because I needed some people on the bench. So that trade right there was legit. Um, and I actually gave up Joe Kim. No, I mean, I actually gave up Eric Gordon and um, what's his name? Robin Lopez for Joakim Noah and Marco Bellinelli. If you look at it, you know, overall wise, and I actually sent them a, a pick or whatever. You know, I'm trying to make the storyline, you know, good or whatever. And this is actually um, a few years after my small forward retired. So my, my small forward played about four years. So from when the game came out, I guess that's 2017. So this is, you know, I want to, you know, I'm trying to make it like a good story. So this is about. I want to say like 2020, you know what I mean? 2020, you know what I mean? Um, Libro Santiago's little brother is entering the lead, and uh, I get the number one pick for the Hornets or whatever. So that's how that that right there pan out. So y'all don't be asking me like, oh, uh, you know, how did you get the people? How did you get your GM to trade? Like, you can get your GM to trade. I mean, if you're doing bad or you're doing good and it comes down to the deadline, you know, they ask you, but if you're doing bad in the beginning of the season, they ask you like, yo, you know, pick five people or whatever that can help help the team or whatever, you know what I mean? So that's what it is. Um, I end up getting subbed out with 21 points in the first half. Um, is a close game, 52, 47. We're going into halftime, enjoy this. 47. And now brought to you by Sprint. Welcome to 2K Sports. The games are starting to take on a little more meaning as the season gets into full swing. The New Orleans Hornets have the lead against Minnesota. They're on a winning streak, and that momentum's carried right over into this game. The Cobra absolutely lights out. Seems like everything's falling for him. Not sure if he even knows how to miss. And no shortage of desire from the Timberwolves side of things. Outstanding bench production. They've gotten a very nice lift, and that's made a huge difference for them on the scoreboard. An impressive first half for Kevin Martin. Always a threat to go off in any given game, and he hasn't disappointed. That's it for me here in the studio. Time to send you back out to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the start of the third quarter. I finally get in in the second half. You see me 21 points, four rebounds, four assists. Um, I'm not going, this dude really not going to be a ball hog. I'm going to get my team involved like I always do. Um, look at that right there, just to the rack. Like, oh yeah, before I even um, even get out of here, I would like you guys, I don't know if you guys know, I signed with Jordan. A lot of people were telling me to sign with Nike or Jordan. Um, I, saw, I decided to go with Jordan because my first two of my players, my point guard and my small four, was I both signed with Nike. So I was like, you know what? Let me go with Jordan, something different. Um, I, I had missed wearing Jordans. And I think a, another big reason was that I could get the replay, the vertical replay on Jordans. So that was, that was dope. So... At the end of the season, I will be, you know, doing a shoe creation video so you guys can see what kind of sneakers I make and um, stuff like that. So, like, right now, I want to, I really wasn't trying to max my dude out until the other day I played on um, Blacktop and, I don't know, shit just was going real, real funny to me. I'm like, hold up, man. Nah, nah, you know what I mean? Because my three's not up. I wasn't really trying to, you know, put his threes over 90 yet and a lot of stuff you know what i mean just some stuff is over 90 but i just wasn't trying to make him a 99 like straight off the back i wanted him to seem like a rookie but for some reason i'm already at like a 95 and i don't have no max stats i'm maxed at a few things like i'm maxed at vertical i'm maxed at rebounding you know shit like that and i mean nothing major that would make me a 95 you feel me so i'm thinking since because i made them all around and i don't know if they start every position off with an 80 offensive um awareness and the 80 defense awareness because i think that's a reason why uh my dude is you know higher or whatever so i don't know what i don't know what they doing with that so right now i'm not gonna use um closer i'm gonna actually try to earn closer so um Whenever you guys see me, I won't have clothes on early in the season. Like, he has to arise to the occasion, you know, come through and clutch moments for me to even buy that and put it on him. Um, lockdown defender, 
I want him to earn that too. So when I tell you guys, I want you to suggest signature skills that I should run. I mean, y'all can leave that in the comment section below because I will take those into consideration. But lockdown defender and closer, I don't want to put that on him yet. I want because he's a rookie and I want him to earn that. You know what I mean? But as far as man, he's a finisher at the basket. He's a big physical guard who wears down his opponents and he can shoot lights out. You know what I mean? And he dunks lights. So that's why I have posterizer finisher, uh, dead eye and bruiser and the Gatorade pack on him right now. So. I actually went into a zone because Kevin Martin would not stop hitting shots. It didn't matter who was in his face. It didn't matter if I was in his face. Uh, you know, Austin Rivers can't stick him. Ooh, look, that dunk was so pretty right there. Cross over. Yeah, you know my man got the moves. Come on, how 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 I look like not having no nice crossover or something like that. You know what I mean? Look at Kevin Martin with the pull up. Are you fucking kidding me right now? All right, I had to pause the game when that shit like, what? Are you serious? Oh, oh you know what? My bad. I meant to. I meant to um do a comparison because someone said I shoot like Chris Smooth, man. Listen, I do not shoot like Chris Smooth. Although we might have the same base shot base, my release is not like Chris Smooth. And my shot base, I didn't actually marquee that or make that, you know, similar to Smooth. No, I didn't not at all. I made that because I was playing with Nick Young and Kevin Martin one day. I was doing, um, I was trying them out in, a, uh, what's it called, in Blacktop to see if I liked how they shot, you know, because I was thinking about buying them for my team. So I was like, oh, I like the way these dudes shoot, you know what I mean? So I was like, you know what? And I was missing my threes with my small forward, so I decided to change my shooting. I decided to change that, you know what I mean? Because I was missing three wide open jaws. I'm like, yo, what is going on? Nice pass right there to Rivers, man. I thought he was going to get blocked for sure, but I got 41 points, seven rebounds, six assists. Come on, Rubio, don't take that. Kevin Love with the miss. Ooh. And you know what? If I'm not mistaken, um, like I said, my mic been my mic was broke, so we get out of there with the win. My mic was broke, so I've been recording this. I'm not sure. If I'm playing on simulation sliders or not, but I decided to get off of default sliders because simulation sliders are much realistic. Yo, if you don't, if you playing 2K and you're not liking it and the computer is making everything, change that shit to simulation, yo. Simulation, man. I'm telling you right now, you get files. The computer doesn't make every shot. It's more realistic. You know what I mean? So I fuck with simulation right now. I'm not sh too sure if this game right here was on. Um, the fall or not, but I know that um, Rick, Kevin Love was missing Rick, a lot of shots in this game, but Kevin Martin just seemed like he just don't miss no matter what it is on. Like, I'm telling you, Ball missed like four or five shots the whole game. Like, I'll take it. I mean, you think I want to see everything going wrong? I don't know what else you guys expect me to say when you ask these kind of questions. Man. Of course I want to see us win, especially when the team's playing well. And of course it's even better when I feel like I was able to contribute to that. Just wait until you catch me on a hard day, though. You're not going to like my answer nearly as much. So, you see my play right there on that. Um, so right now I'm just basically letting it low so I can show you guys that I do play on Hall of Fame. Um... Cause I don't want nobody to be like, yo, you, you cheating. You playing on an easy level. Like, I don't play no game on an easy level, man. I don't care what it is. I'm looking for a challenge because you play games on an easy level, man. It's no challenge, yo. There's none at all. Like, you be blowing the computer out. I mean, that shit is boring, yo. Like, straight up. But, um, you know how PS3 is. Well, you know how it is saving the game right here. So, I earned my VC right here. And I'm just gonna pull it up for y'all real quick. And I am, oh, I'm on default right here. But I'm gonna get out of here, man.